I went in to brush my teeth this morning and found the bath mat on the floor. It's not hard to, you know, pick it up and put it back in place. If it were a one-off thing, sure. When it happens several times a week, you get really annoyed. I had a friend of the gentlemanly persuasion staying over, and as you do in the morning, he had a shower here. Went out for the day, and I came home and found a sopping, wet bath mat on my bedroom floor. It had been there all day. I was pretty pissed. That's not the kind of thing you just throw onto your flatmate's floor, but apparently my friend had left it on the bathroom floor and apparently it had happened on several occasions and my flatmate was annoyed and this seemed the only way to deal with it. I thought, okay, he messed up, he left the bathroom mat on the floor. Wait a minute. No, he didn't. Because after his shower, I went in to brush my teeth. The bath mat was on the bath. Every time he stayed over, I went in afterward and every time it was on the bath. If it wasn't, I picked it up and put it on the bath. Maybe it slipped off, I don't know. But it's it's very annoying. And then like the one time it happens is a huge rawr. And then other people do that same thing. Nobody seems to care. So here's some little things. Just niggle and niggle and niggle and niggle. And then after a while you just wanna No. Doesn't that look so much nicer? Why does the toilet paper need to hang down so low? It almost touches the ground. I don't understand. How? What? Wind it back up again. So it doesn't touch the floor. Leaving the seat up, I can understand. I'm a big girl. I can put the seat down. Do we have poltergeists or something? I don't see what's so hard about that. That's my cereal. That's a good six feet from the floor. that? Whoa! Breakfast. You know what I can reach? Just there. You know? I can one hand that shiz. Magic. It's fixed. My chair didn't stop. I went for a bigger spin than I anticipated. Tomorrow, uh, being Saturday the... of... I am performing with the Burlesque Rainbow at Out in the Square. The big annual Wellington hurrah for gay and gay friendly and questioning and insert all variables here in Civic Square in Wellington. So if you're in Wellington, even if you're not, you should fly down or fly up especially. Come on! We'll have a gay old time. So I will be performing with the troupe at 12.30. I'm not looking forward to having to share one trailer as a dressing room with all those drag queens. I think I might just show up in costume. Love you guys! So I will be there from around 12ish, hanging out and waiting to go on stage. We will perform our magical performance. And then unfortunately I have to rush off almost straight away because I have another rehearsal for another show, which is in Wellington. So even though I haven't left yet, I have my first trip down already planned. Thought you could get rid of me. 